Yo, what up? It's your boy, Amir Perry. Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Death's Dope. So look, if this is your first time here, or you know, if you rock with me and you've been rocking with me for a while, before we even get started, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed yet, please, I would love for you to subscribe and ride with me on this journey. It's so easy, just hit the little red button down here and uh, make sure you hit the bell notification so you can get an alert every time a new video is uploaded. So today I got this really, really dope guitar loop uh, that I found off of, it's a site that I've done a video about, like my favorite site for loops and sounds. Uh, I'll put a link to uh, that video in the description box, but I went on there and I found a really dope loop. And uh, I just want to take and build on top of that. And I know I talk about simplicity in like a lot of my beats, but for this particular beat, we're definitely going to keep it super simple. Probably just uh, this particular sample and some drums. That's what's in my mind anyway. So anyway, let's go ahead. Let's get right into it. Let's try to cook up some magic. All right. All right, so the first sound we got is this guitar loop. It actually sounds like a, a flamenco guitar, which is pretty dope. Uh, I'm going to play it for you, let you hear what, what we got. And all I'm doing is I got it playing an octave up and then I took it an octave down. Um, but I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing to give it a little bit of stereo width. Now, I do so many different things when it comes to uh, creating stereo width. There's so many different ways. Depending on the sound, that's how I'll tweak whatever I'm doing to add the stereo width. But I got a sin here. It's just called spread. And on this sin, I got a mod delay and I actually have the air stereo with. So I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play just the stereo enhancement and then I'll go over what I'm doing. So this is what it, what it sounds like without the direct signal, just this aux. So it just kind of like created a, a room around the original signal. So what I'm doing, I got the left side delayed by 12 milliseconds, and then I got the right side delayed by 10 milliseconds. And I'm doing, a, a, I have the, fla the phase flipped on the right side. And outside of that, I actually have the air stereo with, oh, before I go to that, uh, the low pass filter. I got the low pass filter at around 6,000 uh, hertz. Uh, but was 5957, but around 6,000 hertz. And then on the air stereo width plugin, all I did was I uh, added this and I pushed the width all the way to 200%. That's all, it's just giving the, the, uh, the flamenco just a little bit more room. Also on the main channel, I'm actually delaying the left side by two milliseconds. Uh, so just stereo width, like I, I like to fill up the stereo feel, especially when you got I already know this particular sound is going to pretty much be the 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 meat of the beat. So I want to make sure that's in the stereo feel and it's just, you know, outside of like the vocals and stuff because it's going to be going through the whole beat for the most part. And I don't want it to be clashing, you know, right in the middle with the vocals. But anyway, let's keep on building. So first we're going to start with some drums. Let's go ahead and add a hi-hat. I know I could draw that in. It would be so much easier to draw that in, but it is something about playing it, like hitting the notes. To me, it just makes me happier. <laughs> All right, so up next, we're gonna add a clap.
Perfect. Let's see. All right, let's see. Hold on. Let's add. Oh, I think that's it. That's it. All right. And these sounds right here, these are uh, samples that came with battery. Uh, battery come with so many gears and sounds. I don't use like a lot of their samples because I just have my particular folders that I like to go through. But every now and then I go through just to see what they got. And uh, I like this. So let's uh, let's add this. I fucked up, but that's all right. <laughs> oh shit, hold on. I'm erasing, hold on, redo. All right, cool. So yeah, those first two are cool, so let's copy those. All right, so next we're just gonna add this little stick sample. It's like a rim shot. I messed up. The timing on that is crazy. So this first one is good. Let's copy that over. All right. All right, so up next we're gonna add a snare. All right, so you know we got to put some boom on it. Uh, Crazy 808, all I did was I added some uh, some distortion to it. This is just an air distortion plug-in. I'm going to bypass it. This is what it sounds like with it. You know, it just made it a little bit beefier. I feel like it made it come forward a little bit, but let's go ahead and let's add that. I'm just messing around, just going crazy with it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean this 808 up and then we'll see. I think I want to add maybe something like a sound on the chorus. So we'll find something to add. So let's clean that up. You know, we got to go to our old trusty expand. Uh, let's go to PolySims. Right there, uh, so 
what that sound like. Let's just try this on the open part when there's no 808. It's too much, too busy. You know the the it sounds like the um the sample is a little bit like the tune is off. Let's see if we can fine tune it to make it match a little bit more. Cool. So we're just gonna use this little part uh, on the parts where there's no 808. Let's see. So yeah, it's I I had to detune it like fine well fine tune it fifteen uh, semitones just to get it to match the sample a little bit. Now let's try the stereo spread we used on the guitar on that particular sound. Let's see what it sounds like. So I don't really think I want to add a whole lot more to this beat. So let's give it one good listen from the top. As you can see, I kept it super simple, nothing but that guitar loop and some drums. And I added that one sound uh, where there was no 808 just to change it up a little bit and give it a little bit of feel. You know me, I'm the king of simplicity. I said it before and I said it again. I think I'm gonna get me a t-shirt that said king of simplicity or something. I know people gonna look like, what the hell does that even mean? But fuck it, I'm gonna wear it anyway. But as always, I wanna know, what did you guys think about the beat? Don't forget to drop a comment below and let me know. And until next time, arrivederci.